Baseball Hitting Planner for Week 11. I'm Amber Wilson, and filling in for David Gonis, the Senior Fantasy Baseball Writer, Eric Mack. Welcome to the show, Eric. At least I can fit in this seat. You know, they ordered me a smaller one. Goodness, <laughs> David's not even here to defend himself. Very much Emac style, picking on him when he's not here. Ooh. All right, let's start off talking about the American League. There's a couple guys going on the DL, big names in Big Poppy and Carlos Pena. Who is going to be playing for them? Speaking of big fat guys. Oh, big gosh. Poppy. You know, uh, Manny Ramirez is probably going to DH, so Coco Crisp will slot in the outfield. I think he's a add in uh, rotisserie leagues. And Jacoby Ellsbury is going to play full-time. He's not going to have to compete with Coco Crisp. He's a must-start in all leagues, a great stolen base percentage. And Carlos Pena, his uh, new first baseman, will be Eric Hinsky, and then they'll just slot, mix, and match in the outfield. Now you have Ortiz and Gondas upset with you. All right, <laughs> let's talk about another guy coming off the DL and Jorge Posada. That's going to help us jump right into our starts and the sits this week because you have him as a start at the catcher position. Thin position, if he stays healthy... You guys are going to want up starting in your lineup this week, whereas Rod Brahas, not so much. Brahas is actually hitting well right now, but Greg Zahn is returning from the DL, and that could steal some of the bats from Brahas. Let that situation settle itself before you start Brahas again. All right, taking a look at the first base position, Jason Giambi is your sit this week. He was a good start last week, but he's dealing with some foot issues. He might miss some games coming up in Week 11, whereas Derek Barton is your start. Derek Barton's uh, showing some more patience now, and he's getting better at the plate after a slow start. The rookie was a guy I thought could compete with Joey Votto. As a rookie at that position, I think he's going to get hot. All right, taking a look at the second base position where Alexi Casilla is your start. Slap hitting base stealer is coming up hot and has earned every day at bats right now as Drupal Cabrera, your sit. Yeah, he's a guy opposite of Casilla who earns playing time with his glove, but he's just struggling at the plate right now and you got to sit him. All right, taking a look at the third base position, Jack Hanahan is your sit this week. He's been leading off, but Eric Chavez's return is going to make him more of a part-timer right, right now, and you have Eric Chavez as your start. Chavez has come off the DL hot right now, and it looks like he might even be back to his old form. I think Chavez is an ad in all leagues right now. All right, taking a look at shortstop, Marco Scudero is your sit this week. AL only infielder, he'll lose at bats this week when Aaron Hill is expected to play more. Bobby Crosby is your start. Crosby is surprisingly healthy right now. His homer numbers are down, but he's hitting doubles, and doubles become homers. He'll, he'll improve as the year goes on. All right, taking a look at the outfield position, Ben Francisco is your start this week. Had he leads in the Indians in, double, in doubles despite starting in the minors. Getting a little tongue-tied up on that one. Outfield, your sit is Emil Brown. Emma Brown, I think when Ryan Sweeney returns from the DL, it should be Brown going to the bench because Travis Buck and Carlos Gonzalez are two young talents that probably should play for the A's. I think wean, off, wean yourself off Emil Brown right now. Okay, we have to take a quick break. When we come back, we are going to take a look at the other side of things, the other leagues. Don't go anywhere. In the AL, we were just talking about before the break, you have guys going on the DL. In the NL, you have some guys coming back that are going to help out fantasy owners, Jumit, Holiday, Ab um, Alou, Barmas, all names that you're going to see on our starts and sits this week. So let's go ahead and jump right into them, and we'll start out the catcher position where you have J.R. Tolls as your sit this week. Rookie struggling. He's woefully below the Mendoza line right now, and he's losing starts. No good for fantasy owners, but Ryan Dumit is back. Yeah, Domit's a start. He, he's coming off the DL, and he's got a great run production potential at that position. And his team also has seven games. I think you run Domit out there. All right, let's take a look at the first base position where Mike Jacobs is your start this week. Dorman Power Stroke is returning, and the Marlins have seven at home in Week 11. Dimitri Young is your sit at first. Yeah, Dimitri Young had a great renaissance here last year, but now he looks fat to me, and he's not being productive. <laughs> I think you should just avoid that guy altogether. I don't, I don't know, but I'm sorry. So many fat I just Everybody is fat. <laughs> God, what do you say about me We're when I'm fat. not around? <laughs> Second base, Travis Dinker, ball. is your start this week. Let's start off talking about Ray Durham, though, because he is your sit this week. He's more of an NL, NL only option, rather. Bad D got him yanked. Travis Dinker came in, and he was hot. Yeah, he popped some doubles, hit some homers, I think. As NL only leagues, Dinker's a guy to take a flyer on. A young talent that the Giants will probably go to. They need to start younger players. All right, taking a look at third base. Bill Hall is your sit this week. He's losing time to journeyman Russell Brannion and asked for a trade. That's obviously a sure way to get benched here, whereas Mark Reynolds is your start. Yeah, Mark Reynolds is a streaky hitter. Great April, bad May. He's hot again in June. Uh, streaky hitter is on a roll. I think you start him in all leagues. All right, taking a look at shortstop. Steven, Steven, Steve, whoa, Steven, Steven. woohoo, Steven, Steven Drew is your start this week. He has moved into the leadoff spot for a streaky young team. He's about to get hot, start him in all leagues. Clint Barmas, do not start. Yeah, the, he could come back this week. Right. They, they were anticipating he'd be 
ready when eligible, but I think the Rockies could hold him back. It was a knee problem that looked pretty serious. So wean off uh, Carlos or Clint Barmas this week. Okay, <laughs> well, let's go ahead and take a look at the outfield position where Matt Holliday is your start this week. He's coming off a DL stint, but when he's healthy and back, go ahead and start him. He's a good start this week. Moises Alou is not. Yeah, Holliday's a must start in all leagues, but Alou, you've learned from him. In any given game, he can go right back to the DL. So let him start for a week, prove healthy and effective before you put him in your lineup. All these guys coming back. All right, well, that will do it for us for now. Keep your mouse right here at CBSSports.com for everything you need to know in the world of sports. If you missed anything here today, stop refresh and rewatch. For Eric Mack, I'm Amber Wilson, and good luck with your lineup, guys.